what's going on everyone I'm back here with another video and today I've got an update video for you guys and this video is going to be relating to a video that I uploaded about a month or so ago and it is the video demonstrating how to add passes and or cards to Passbook using the Pass Source website um, and there were several people wondering how to actually use that website to input real, actual, working passes and or cards. Um, so that's what this video is going to be demonstrating. I'm going to be showing how to add real cards uh, to Passbook using that website. So yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, video here. So first things first, of course, you want to jump into Safari and head over to the Pass Source website. Of course, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description uh, so you guys can quickly click on it and go straight to it. But anyway, let's go ahead and go to the website now. There we are. Okay, so once you're at the website, you want to hit the Create button. You do not have to log in or create an account to do this. So just hit the Create button. <clears throat> and from here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you want to Select uh, the corresponding coupon and or store card that you're going to be using. So, say for example, we have... Let's see here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so, say for example you have a GameStop Power Up Rewards card. Uh, and you want to put your card into Passbook and not actually have to use the physical plastic card uh, in the store. So all you'd have to do is click on that. <coughs> And then go in and fill out all the information uh, that is listed on your physical uh, personal card, such as the name that you have registered with your account, uh, your account number, uh, your home address. As you can see here, you have to put the address. <coughs> um, and then you can add up here at the top. The bottom one is for your home address. The top one is for... Uh, the store address, so you can type in the store address and know exactly where it is. So you can do that. That's optional. You don't have to do that, but it's a pretty useful thing. Um, then, of course, you have to add the barcode information. So the barcode that is on your card, you'd have to type in the numbers uh, for that. And then um, you put your rewards card number, which is essentially your account number. And then, like I said, you put your name and then once you've filled out all of that, uh, you hit create, and it will generate the card and or pass, as you can see here. Uh, the barcode will be down here, and then the name and other information will be up in the middle portion. And if you want to add it, you can easily hit the add button, or if you need to edit it, you can hit cancel. And then go through and edit um, some of the information that you may need to do. But anyway, then you hit create, like I said, and you hit add, and it'll jump it down into your uh, passbook, and then it will be accessible uh, through passbook. So, yeah, um, let me take this off screen real quick, because I do have credit card information in the passbook app. Okay, so now here we are, as you can see, the GameStop... Um, Power Ups card is now in Passbook and is ready to use. Now, of course, this one is not real. Um, but if you happen to put your actual information in there and have it generate a real pass and or card, uh, all you'd have to do is go into GameStop or if you have a coupon or anything like that, you just take it into the store, uh, show the uh, cashier uh, your Passbook card, and then we'll scan this barcode, and then it will recognize it, and then you're into your GameStop account or Scandi coupon or whatever it may be. So it's actually really neat. Um, this is how you'd actually use Pass Source for a real purpose rather than just demonstrational purposes. Um, but yeah, that is how you add real working passes and or cards to Passbook using the Pass Source application, or excuse me, not application, a website. Um, like I said, I will put a link in the description below to the website, so you guys can jump right on over there and try this out. Um, and I have gotten a several cards to work. Now, there are some that will not work, unfortunately. Um, 
But yeah, the ones that do work, it's really useful and a really, really neat way to organize all your coupons, cards, and gift cards and everything like that. So yeah, that's how you do that. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, hit that like button as well. That is much appreciated. Also, if you guys have any questions or need help with anything on this, I'll leave them in the comment section below. And I will get back to them as soon as I can. So, yes, with that being said, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thought that it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.